Hollywood, the United States Navy, the greatest Navy in the world, presents Navy Star Time with Buzz Adlam and his orchestra. And as our singing skipper, one of young America's favorite stars. This is High Averback inviting you for the United States Navy and its Naval Reserve to come aboard for music and song. And here on deck, ready to take over the helm of our vocal flagship, is your skipper star, Joe Stafford. Thank you, thanks, everybody. Well, guys and gals, feels good to be aboard again to skip for another Navy Star Time show through its paces. I've given the order of the day, it's music and song, so let's pull in the gang plaque and get underway with It's a Lovely Day Today. It's a lovely day today, so whatever you've got to do, you've got a lovely day to do it in, that's true. And I hope whatever you've got to do, something that can be done by two. For I'd really like to stay. It's a lovely day today, and whatever you've got to do, I'd be so happy to be doing it with you. But if you've got something that must be done, and it can only be done by one, there is nothing more to say, except it's a lovely day for saying it's a lovely day. So whatever you've got to do, I'd be so happy to be doing it with you. But if you've got something that must be done, and it can only be done by one, there is nothing more to say. Except it's a perfectly devastating, delightfully, excitingly exhilarating. What a day for simply saying it's a lovely day. Thank you, thank you. Well, we're still on duty on the upper deck. And all set to pipe aboard one of my latest Columbia recordings, If. If they made me a queen, I'd be but a slave to you. If I had everything. If I rule the night, stars and moon so bright, still I turn for light to you. If the world to me bowed, yet humbly I'd plead to you. If my friend were a crowd I'd turn in my need to you if I rule the earth what would life be worth if I hadn't the right to you
Here's something for college men to think about, and it's no fly-by-night proposition either. But then again, well, perhaps it is. For when you learn to fly with Navy, you learn to fly around the clock. In no time, you learn to solo. You win your naval aviator's wings of gold. Start to fly with the fleet as a commissioned officer. If you are a college man, find out how you can be a naval aviator. Write today to NAVCAD, N-A-V-C-A-D, Washington 25, D.C. This is Buzz Adlam taking over for Skipper Joe Stafford, and we're reporting right on course with Negra Consentida. Adam says, aye, aye, sir. He really goes into action. This is Skipper Joe Stafford back at the helm. We're still right on course and still making plenty of knots. And now just what many a blue jacket is saying to some beautiful girl on some enchanted shore. I'll get by. I'll get by. As long as I have you, though there be rain and darkness too, I'll not complain, I'll see it through. Say what care 
far Years ago, Horace Greeley urged young men in search of success to go west. Today, it's go Navy. And this is especially true for you young college men. If you want a career in aviation, the Navy will teach you how to fly. In five months, you'll solo, go on to win an officer's commission and a naval aviator's wings of gold. For details on how you can be a naval aviator and train at Navy's famous Annapolis of the Air, write to NAVCAD, N-A-V-C-A-D, NAVCAD, Washington 25, D.C. does it. It's time to weigh anchor, but I'll be back again soon at the helm of another Navy Star Time show. This is Skipper Joe Stafford saying thanks for joining me and Buzz Adam and his crew. And remember, all Navy men are agreed. It's great adventure and a great life. So long, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Joe Stafford. And friends, be sure to listen when this station once again brings you another Navy Star Time show with Buzz Adlam and his orchestra, plus young America's favorite singing stars, Billy Eckstein, Dick Haynes, Tony Martin, Dinah Shore, Joe Stafford, Jimmy Wakely, and Margaret Whiting. This program was transcribed in Hollywood and presented through the cooperation of the Hollywood Coordinating Committee. It is written and directed by Al Simon, and produced by Edison von Ottenfeld for the United States Navy Recruiting Service. This is High Aberback, battening down the hatches on another broadcast of Navy Star Time. And this is the voice of the Navy, reminding all Americans that on the sea, in the depths beneath the sea, and in the skies above the sea, our men in blue are serving you.